Hi there, welcome to another fun and exciting video. Today we're playing Sweet 776. It's another great indie horror game you can get off Steam. This game runs about an hour, and it's been suggested that maybe I should make shorter videos. So I'm going to slice this one into four pieces, each approximately 15 minutes, and we'll see how everything goes. Seven, seven, four. Seven, seven, five. Here we are. Oh, door's already open for us. Look at that. Bright and colorful for being a horror. Read it online. I survived Sweet 776. It is real. It all appeared real, but that couldn't be possible. I was on the 12th floor, yet looking through the windows displayed the first floor. There were over six other suites on this floor, yet Suite 776 appeared larger with impossible proportions. There was even an upper and lower level of the suite. It made absolutely no sense whatsoever. And how did I get out? Why am I the only one? I have no clue. I came to Suite 776 with the intention of recording my journey. I set up cameras, but all the footage was lost. I wonder why that one drawer says 10 on it. Locked. Locked doors are always good. At least I know nothing's going to come out of it yet. There's the infamous bell. Nothing happened. This is a pretty big sweep, and there is a second floor. Maybe I should try to ring the bell one more time. Okay, if you say so. Bell has been rung a second time. Still nothing jumping out at me. I think it's all a hoax. Okay, who shut the door? It's locked. Sounds like dude's scared. Who rang the bell? <laughs> Bell's been rung a fourth time. I've only done it three times. Who did it the other time? Oh. Hey, Marcy, you there? Hello? Hello? Who's there? I hear you laughing. Hello? 
Hello. Whoa. What the heck? My aching head. Oh, everything's different now. Interesting. So who boarded up the windows? The drawer is still locked. Door locked. dark over here now. There's a key. Always like keys. Let's go to the drawer. There we go. Well, that was one noisy ceiling fan. Email results printed copy. Marcy does not appear to be in the proper state of mind. Several tests were conducted testing her reactions to stressful environmental conditions. Reactions Marcy displayed include 1. Twitching 2. Mumbling 3. Redness 4. Excessive laughter Marcy decided to end the session early, unfortunately. I advise you consult Marcy to return for further assessment. Medication may be required as currently, the way I see it, Marcy may endanger herself or others. Would you mind forwarding over the contacts of Marcy's family, perhaps her son? Thank you, Dr. Stan T. See what's in here before I go upstairs. Ring the bell again. Ah, oh, good, it's locked. I don't want to go up there anyway. Bet that ceiling fans would drove Marcy crazy. This place was so bright and colorful before. Now it's all dark and scary. Bell's been rung a fifth time. Hello? Who's in there? I hear you. 
<laughs> oh. The fuck? Dude, sounds like he's gonna pee himself. Maybe he already did. And someone scribbled all over the walls with lipstick. Or a red crayon. It's okay, dude, take a breath. Yeah, back into the dark. There we go. Bell's been rung for the sixth time. Really creepy atmosphere. Okay. Doors don't usually open themselves. Let's go in there. One, two, three, ready for creepy me. Okay, can't look at the photograph, I guess. Interview response number one. Interviewer, you mentioned that Marcy had a bell on her desk at the office. Would you mind repeating what you told me prior to this interview? Coworker, well, every time she would read something online about herself or her work that she didn't agree with, she would ring that bell. The bell rang continuously, especially after she finished the construction of her new home, her masterpiece as she called it. Interviewer, she was an angry person, wasn't she? She was truly disturbed. Her door is not locked, but there's a force keeping it shut. Can't do anything with the radio. Well, the fridge is locked. Does she have an eating problem too? Doesn't look like a clue for anything. Oh no, we go back and ring the bell again? No, not yet. Come on, Marcy, where are you at? It's a really creepy atmosphere, that's for sure. Well, that's about it for this episode of Sweet 776. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.